Now saying uh, more video replays, the uh, parachute descent by the Soyuz TMA-01M. Again, its landing occurred at 2.54 a.m. Central Time in Kazakhstan. Just minutes before that, its uh, parachutes began to deploy. The first two were pilot chutes that pulled out a 172-square-foot drogue chute. That was at 2.39 a.m. Central Time. It's followed, uh, that dr drogue chute was jettisoned to make way for the uh, 5,500 square foot main parachute, which slowed the, slowed the Soyuz down for its final descent and touchdown. View here of the shoot after landing trailing behind the Soyuz TMA 01M. As you can see, it did land on its side, which uh, caused the team here on the ground to uh, need to extract the crew from the hatch at the top of the capsule. That all went just fine, however, and uh, again, the crew is now out and should be making their way back to Kustanai, where planes are waiting to take them home. The video we're actually seeing here is a replay, as you can tell, the crew waving here from inside the uh, Soyuz TMA-01M after their 254 touchdown. And the center is Alexander Kaliri, who was taken out first. And uh, next to him, you can also make out Expedition 26 Commander Scott Kelly. Again, this is a replay of video shot earlier. Joe Monteblano, NASA Director of Human Spaceflight Programs in Russia, and uh, Flight Surgeon Steve Gilmore, as well as NASA Photographer Bill Ingalls. And that, of course, in addition to Expedition 26 Scott, Commander Scott Kelly, who arrived in the Soyuz vehicle. And back with more video replay of the crew attraction. First uh, one out of the vehicle was uh, Soyuz Commander Alexander Kaliri, who was in the middle seat. He was followed by 
Expedition 26 Commander Scott Kelly, and then um, Flight Engineer Oleg Skripochka. Again, reports from the landing site were that all crew members looked to be in good health and good spirits. Kaliri here being bundled up after his extraction from the Soyuz vehicle. Again, this is a replay of video shot at the late night. 